What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Second Passport. Today, we're going to cover the food in where I consider to have the best food in Ecuador, in my humble opinion, which is normally right, uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador, right? But today, I'm going to show you not the typical places where you might find in a Google search, but like the real like hole in the wall places called Huecos where the locals like to go. A lot of them don't even have signs, uh, but they're always packed um, because they have the best prices and the best food uh, dollar for dollar. Way better than where I currently live in Quito, Ecuador. The regional food here kind of sucks. Ask any Ecuadorian, they'll tell you the same thing. But in Guayaquil, where I lived for a year when I first moved to Ecuador, these are a few places where you should give it a try. Don't go to Guayaquil without it. The first place, as you can see, tiny little sign right behind the Avicola Fernandez uh, that we just saw in red. And uh, they serve these amazing turkey sandwiches, right? And it's that red circle right behind the Avicola Fernandez. And there's a look right there. It doesn't look like much, but it's really, really good. They also sell pork sandwiches. Um, this is the next hole in the wall that yellow building there on the corner, right in front of the airport and next to the Banco Pichincha and also the Transportes Esmeraldas bus station. But what's really amazing about this food, it's always packed, super cheap, right? I just got a lunch there myself uh, today for $2.75, right? Here's a look on the inside. Again, I don't know why they have no sign, but as you can see it, you know, there's the soup, there's the seco de pollo, like chicken and gravy with the juice. And uh, it's just really, really good food. And you should definitely try it. The next place, number three, that I want to tell you about. I cannot go to Guayaquil without coming here. It is the uh, Ceviches de Marcelo. There's a look from the outside. It's also near the airport, right in the Garzota area of Guayaquil, kind of near the Mall del Sol, right? As, as it is, there it is, circled in red there. You're kind of near the uh, uh, electric company in Guayaquil, right next to the JEP, right? The Cooperativa. So there's a look, Ceviches de Marcelo. There's a look on the inside. It's always packed with locals. You can get a ceviche just like the one I got here, a fish ceviche or shrimp for five fifty. dollars uh, It's just an amazing dish with cilantro. You pour some lem in lemon juice with tomato and onion and... Uh, and cured fish or shrimp. It's absolutely amazing. It's a cold soup, but it's delicious. And here is uh, a, a local treat I recommend if you see it, alfajoles, uh, definitely worth trying. Now, the next stop on the whole of the wall places are these uh, Almeida de Chewbacca. It's right across the street from the big mall San Marino in Guayaquil. They have the best empanadas I've ever had maybe in my life, oven made, right? As you can see, it's right across the street from the Mall San Marino. These are the uh, the choices. They have a bunch of different flavors, Napolitan, uh, like pizza flavor, chicken, beef, pork, you know, and a whole bunch of others. And they also have this amazing Peruvian drink called Chicha Morada made from uh, corn, but it's absolutely amazing, definitely worth a try. The next, now these next two are a little bit higher category places that I recommend you try when you come to Guayaquil. The first one everyone's heard of, all the taxi drivers know it, Cafe de Tere. Uh, it's right also in the north near the airport and uh, behind the Mall del Sol, as you can see right there in the center of your screen. But they're famous for Guayaquil's local treat, the bolones, right? And it's always packed, even though it's a little bit higher priced than a lot of other Huecos in Guayaquil, uh, but they're the bolones. You can get them with uh, bolones. You can get them with just cheese or with cheese and pork or just pork, and they're served with like a hot sauce. Uh, it's really their local, their own made one. Really amazing. Give it a try for breakfast. This next place, also it's kind of for the mid-range budget, not too expensive, but you can't go to Guayaquil without going to a crab house. Manes Cangrejal is the most famous one. As you can see, it's also right near the San Marino Mall. Uh, right there in the center of your screen. Any taxi driver would know it. It doesn't look like much from the outside, right? There it is right there with the yellow sign. But on the inside, wow, it's all, it's always has people. Um, and, you know, you have your garlic-based uh, 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 crab. You got a whole bunch of ceviches you can order. There's another look. 
Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's a lot of work for me. I'm not a huge crab guy, but if you're a crab house guy, Guayaquil's known for them. It's you. You gotta try it. Anyway, I'm Mr. Second Password. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. Take care.